Hello everyone. Welcome to day 1 of our 5 day capstone project series. I'm really very really excited today because this is the moment we start our journey to build a complete A agent project from idea to architecture and deployment. Exactly the real A engineers will do in the software companies. We are going to see all the process. I designed this entire series to be simple and easy to follow. Some of you already know this process. who are already working in software company but i am considering students who are looking for jobs and who are already working on the small companies and who are coming from the non tech background i consider all these groups and finally plan this content in a way that everyone can learn and enjoy this i did not include too many advanced concepts here because each advanced concept required full video on its own so in this series i kept what we really required for now in future i have plan if you are interested i will deep dive into those topics as well and I promise by the end of the video you will definitely learn something valuable. I created a beautiful presentation. I spent hours of time to make this series more structured and professional. If you appreciate this effort then smash that like button. Your support always gives me the motivation to create new videos with more energy. All right, let's begin the show. Hello everyone. I am RK If you are directly watching this capstone project and you missed that Google Five Day A course, I would highly recommend to watch that complete series and complete your assignments also. Then come back here. However, without completing those assignments also, you can participate in capstone project. We'll go to our lab. Here is the plan for that today. We are going to look at full Five Day series, understand the SDLC. software development life cycle any one of you from tech background can you comment it so we will talk about uh, prerequisites essential skills uh, for this series and what we won't cover and we are going to understand the rules of the game what is capstone project why it is required what is the criteria and last two prompts that is very very important to create your project so that is uh, prompt 1 idea generation and prompt to architecture generation i spent hours of time to generate those two prompts and i tested multiple times to share with you and then we get hands on with prompt 1 and prompt 2 to design your entire project yes day 1 is big let's go so basically i planned five day series in the day one we are going to cover idea and architecture where we are going to brainstorm and second day development and testing we are going to write the code and we are going to test it what we have written is it working or not and day 3 deployment and documentation generation and we are going to submit on the same day i'll show you complete submission steps as well you can follow simply so basically this is the three days plan additionally i have two more days that we are going to cover basic concepts of ai and advanced concepts of ai agents i am keeping these two videos at last cause uh, we are reaching the deadline right i want you to make sure that first we complete the things what we required however concepts also very essential i'll see the response for all these three videos if the response is good then only i am going to record those videos otherwise i'll keep it aside for now and definitely i'll plan these two videos in future because those are very very important and last but not least i planned one last i q and a session all are interested and if you stuck somewhere i can help you there all right is anyone from tech background who is working in a software company give a comment i'll get to know that how many people are actually watching even from tech background also so that i can plan little advanced concepts also in our channel sdlc means software development life cycle it will be applicable in all the places even for cooking also we have to plan what we are going to cook right and we have to plan it and what are the vegetables we have to do it and we have to design that means that we are, we are going to cut it right we are going to cut the vegetables and we are going to put some ingredients then we are going to taste it right the taste is nothing but testing then we are going to serve to the people that is with deployment that's it it's very simple suppose when we are serving this dish to our relatives suppose they are saying that salt is not sufficient then we are going to put some more salt right that is nothing but support and that is nothing but the fixing the issues in a client place that's it it's very easy let me break down what is that and today we are going to see step by step process in this series we are going to see every step as part of these 3 days let's look into our project whenever we are creating any project or any feature always we have to think why what how why means why are doing that what is the purpose of that what you are going to resolve it how actually this project or feature beneficial to the user our god is customer in the what phase we are going to think about requirements what need to be added there what need to be removed from that list so that is where actually the what will come to the picture last and but not least how that is core concept how we are going to fix it technically what is your architecture what's your designs what's your ui how it looks all these will come under how 
always keep in mind even when you are working on your problem statement when you are finding your project in this series think about this now you are architect because you are building the projects so basically think about problem and requirements architecture development and testing once you complete this phase you are done we are going to deploy this project to the client phase that means that user is going to use it if any issues are there again the process will come when any issues are coming in the software industry there are different steps are there and i am not going to talk about those just we'll talk about regular basic path now we'll go to the next slide now we are at what you need nothing complicated just basic programming you have to know before continuing this some python reading ability even you don't know python don't worry python also you can learn easily and you can read it and most important you should have passion passion to learn and build everything else chat gpt will help you even i am going to show you how you can use chat gpt or gemini ai to help you in the coding stay tuned just focus so yes you can do this not a big deal only one thing passion if you don't have passion you cannot do anything trust me you can skip this video now itself so basically what we are not going to cover in next 3 days we are not going to cover python basics design patterns architecture theory testing frameworks we are not at all touching this we are focusing only related to our capstone project do you know what is the meaning of capstone project you might see these capstone projects from your studies also whatever we are doing that final same projects right those are nothing but capstone projects always participate in hackathon and capstone projects whenever it is possible because when you are participating in these kind of competitions you are going to learn more with my personal experience i participated in couple of hackathons i learned a lot still i have to learn more now your capstone project is a final a is in project and it's a big deal it shows your problem solving skills your architecture thinking your coding ability your coding style and more important your creativity coding can do everyone now ai tools also can do that but what's your creativity that is more important how you are debugging your code how you are analyzing your code these things are very important than simply writing code i think i deviated let me come back it becomes part of your portfolio whatever you are going to do that capstone project you can show that suppose if you are student definitely you can show it on your resume the proof is your badge on kaggle that's it it's help you to stand out on interviews okay you understand what is capstone project you might think that why this matters companies don't care about how much theoretical knowledge you have companies always bothering about what actually you can able to do it what's your hands on experience they care if you can build something end to end this capstone project proves that now coming back to the very specific to kaggle capstone project so here basically there are four tracks are there concise agents agents of good enterprise agents freestyle so you have to select any one of the track i'll show you what are the, all these tracks what projects will come under which tracks okay the main important the key dates key dates are December 2nd 2025 1:29 am indian standard time so i think you have around 10 days of time is there still do not worry don't be rush to submit the project you have enough time try to understand the concepts do everything step by step don't be hurry mode rewards don't work anywhere only for rewards top 12 projects will get swags and certificate i know most of the people they always look for the swags google swags cups t-shirts caps certificate please focus on the concepts don't focus on the swags or certificate concept is very important it is like when you are studying in a school or college you might got 80% 90% of marks if you don't understand the concepts simply after getting 90% of the marks once you come back to the real world you don't get proper job for your mark even if you get the 70 or 60 percent marks if you have understand the proper concept you will be reaching to the next level so don't focus only on the swags or certificates focus only on the concepts what did you learn that is more important all right we'll go to the next slide so before start any game obviously we have to understand the what are the rules here the rules are we learned as part of the five days program couple of concepts so kaggle is asking us to apply those concepts out of those at least three so here i listed down multi agent system tools what are the tools which we used mcp session memory long and short memories context engineering observability logging tracing metrics agent to agent protocol and finally agent deployment all these concepts we are going to apply in your project stay tuned don't skip now last but not least how the marking criteria will be there in usually any exam 100 marks so here also same 
you can notice that the pitch concept and write up that means that what is the core concept what is the problem you are going to solve it total 30 mocks out of 30 core concept value is 15 and how you are going to write up how you are going to document it 30 mocks you are going to get so that is in your pocket without coding right you didn't write any code but you got 30 marks and second part 70 points keep that 70 points aside and now coming back to the bonus points how you used gemini ai to create your code in this course i am going to use the chat gpt but you can use the gemini AI and you just document it this is a prompt i used in the gemini AI. that's it you are going to get five points next is in deployment we are going to do that five points youtube video that is on your hand again you just explain what you've done 10 points so here 20 points first 30 points so total 50 points without coding you have the 50 points in your hand now come back to the category 2 category 2 is most important yes category 2 is most important without coding what you are going to deploy it here we are going to implement it whatever the problem statement we are going to solve that and we are going to code it and we are going to write proper code we are going to use all the concept in this technical implementation finally documentation is very important many engineers thought that okay just i'll write the code and leave it no without documentation your code is nothing suppose in future if you want to fix something your documentation is very important what kind of architecture you used what are the components it's there your document tells what's your project i'll show you how to create this document also using ai tools so only thing you have to do is just follow focus and once you complete all the session i want you to spend some time and try yourself give at least two hours guys i spent hours of time to create this presentation to create this video why can't you spend two hours please don't say that you don't have time okay all right now let's jump into the our prompts we talk a lot now we are going to see in action now we are going to find best track based on your idea for this i created one best prompt i spent hours of time to create this prompt i am going to share with you i just opened the chat gpt i have the chat gpt go plan which i am using it here if you are interested please go with the chat gpt go plan free of cost for you and i created one video how to get this chat gpt go plan i'm just sharing on top which is in telugu if you don't know telugu but you can see the screens easily and you can follow it with the subtitles let me explain you this prompt before we are going to execute it suppose if you open the chat gpt simply if you ask i have these four tracks and i need the project means it will give you but it will give you something randomly do you know what is clear Clear means, clear means, C means context, L means length, E means example, A means audience, R means role. Here in this prompt also, I have provided all the required things. I am saying that you are an A expert. Okay, mentoring helps students build Kaggle Capstone project. Clearly mention that so that it can find the relevant answers over the internet. You must generate project ideas only for the exact track provided do not mix the tracks so these are the available tracks which i got it from kaggle pace so what i'm saying suggest five high quality project ideas for the exact track i provided each idea must include title one to line description why is it valuable how multi-agent workflow is used basically if you remember it we are going to use one of the concept here what tools or functions are used what memory is required Again, all these are concepts which we learned in our Friday session. That's what I included here. Here I'm saying that it should be very friendly, beginner, deployable on hugging face. That means that even I plan for the deployment also, whatever it is, if something is random, it is giving that project. Finally, I cannot deploy those in our respective platform, which I selected. Planner, worker, evaluation aligned. So that is a one kind of simple architecture, which I plan. Do not generate code saying that don't generate code first give me the plan so assume that you selected the agent for good what you can do you just provide that here just click on enter boom you can notice that generated the five ideas for your track your track is agents for good so here it is giving the description for that respective idea why it is more valuable what are the multi-agent workflows which can be planned? I hope you remember what is multi-agent work tools, what tools we are going to use it. Five ideas for you. Why five only? Because I clearly mentioned that I need only five. Suppose you want to understand and just giving you one more example. You want to understand. Just copy. Can you explain what are these tracks? Concise agents means personal use assistance, which is helping to them like a assistant, like a PA, personal assistant. Okay. 
so agent for good is there any impact which are going to help to the community enterprise agents business and professional use enterprise agents you might understand that by seeing the name it's okay which is not for public basically you are going to get more money if you really find right tools here open track apart from those three anything else is there they have provided the four tracks you can choose any one track i'm going to provide the prompt what you have to do just copy paste from you are an expert to till here make sure that give one of the track here then paste it in the chat gpt that's it suppose you have your own idea directly ask chat gpt this is my idea i want you to create this task brainstorm yourself and comment it what's your selected track now prompt 2 going to design our software here i mentioned that i want you to return this problem statement solution overview i want to use multi agent architecture sessions and memory context engineering observability tools what are the tools can we use any tools any google search can we use it and any agent to agent protocol can we use it so based on the idea if suppose your idea does not come under this concept it won't pick up and here you can notice that i already designed our project structure also again i am saying that do not generate code now i am pasting the second prompt so here you can notice that i have added something like this paste the exact project idea suppose here we have five ideas right assume that you liked idea one then copy from here to this is one option you can paste it or so this is very straightforward you can paste it otherwise you can say that from the above output just give the project name also so i would recommend this way because this is how I designed this prompt once you give that no need to do anything just hit guys see how i made your life easy by providing these prompts problem statement it is generating solution overview what are the concepts which you are going to use multi agent architecture which i already mentioned in the prompt what is our structure of our project what are the session and memory which you are going to use it our project structure how cool it is right the tools so that is the reason prompt engineering is very important how we are asking questions if you are interested let me know i'll plan one prompt engineering video for all of you even with json also i hope you know we can create prompts using json structure also the json prompt will give you best response so finally guys so this is how you can brainstorm your ideas using tools i would have jumped directly to these two prompts right so my idea is not to give simply these two prompts i want to make sure that you are doing right things right way these prompts to save your time always think what we are doing once you understand prompt one and prompt two then we are going to deep dive into the coding only one thing from your side is just let me know what's your track and idea comment it we'll see don't worry no one is going to steal your ideas all right see you in the day two thank you for watching day one if you really like this video hit this like button and share our channel with one friend that helps to your friend and our channel also get ready your project officially started today see you in the day two let's build something awesome thank you all